We're back with a popular format with today's video, which will be in the form of a quiz on an RNAV approach. This is the RNAV into runway 27 at Boulder City, Nevada near Las Vegas. Here's the first question. You're being vectored to the final approach course from the south when you're cleared for the approach. What altitude should you fly initially? 5,500, 8,400, maintain last assigned, or 4,500? We'll put up a timer and give you a few seconds. You have to maintain your last assigned altitude. You're being radar vectored, which means you're not on a published segment of the approach, such as the leg from Caddy to Jagok. There's no published altitude for where we are on this plate. So the controller issuing the vector and the approach clearance will give us an altitude. This is made clear in our approach clearance because the controller is required to say something to the effect of maintain 7,000 or something until established when issuing the clearance. For the next question, let's say we are on one of those published segments, the feeder route from Ipumi at 7,100. When can you descend to 5,500? When cleared for the approach, when passing Jagok the first time, when established inbound on the approach course, or when passing Jagok the second time. We have to wait until at least the first crossing of Jagok to descend. Once there, we begin the course reversal and can go down to 5,500 feet. Passing Jagok the second time and being established inbound, we can then go down to 4,500 until Zagli, which is the final approach fix. For the next question, let's say you break out of the clouds. Assuming minimal crosswind, where should you look to find the approach end of the runway? To your left, to your right, straight ahead, or the runway will be aligned perpendicular to you. Although this is a straight in approach, the runway will be off to your left, assuming you're not crabbing heavily into the wind. You can notice how the approach course is offset from the arrow on the airport diagram, or the note that the final approach course is offset 20 degrees. Last question, we'll look to the profile view. At 90 knots ground speed, if you descend at a constant angle, what will be your approximate descent rate? 350 feet per minute, 600 feet per minute, 450 feet per minute, or 700 feet per minute? It's about 450 feet per minute. The only piece of information we need from the plate is the vertical descent angle, which is a standard three degrees. A great rule of thumb for a standard angle like this is to take our ground speed, 90, and multiply by 5 to get 450 feet per minute. If we're using the Jeppesen approach plates, these figures are actually calculated for us. These weren't easy, but how did you do? Let us all know in the comments, and don't forget to head over to the Flight Insight website linked here and in the description for more training and to check out our ground schools today.